Warning! The opinions discussed in this video do not necessarily represent my own views. Rather, it is a rationalization and analysis of marginalized opinions. What's up everyone, Master Fox here today. Talk about a card with tons of controversy around it, and here we have it with Exiton Knight. Mega Capital G even made two major videos where he eventually flip-flopped on his opinion and came out to say that he was actually wrong about it needing to be banned in the first place and instead insisted that it was necessary for the game. I have a very different approach and opinion though. To be honest, I don't really have a strong opinion one way or another and I can be easily swayed given a rational and logical argument. So I'll go over each side and give the general points to be made for each argument starting with why I think Exiton should not be banned. The main restrictions on the card requiring you to 1. be in a losing position and 2. restricting any sort of damage infliction really tames this card out. No matter what, dropping Exiton will not end the game that turn, at least not based on the life point count. One of the key reasons that Exiton is not an instantly bannable no-brainer card lies in the fact that it is never a good card to use in a winning position. When you hold the upper hand in a game, you will never consider using this card. On the contrary, you are more likely to play in fear of this card if you are winning. Now whether this point is good or not for Exiton is up to you. What I feel is crucial to argue for Exiton outside of its restrictions is its necessity as an answer to Pendulums, and possibly Set 5 as well. Decks like Fire Fist, Black Wings, etc. cannot and do not have any way to generate advantage on the levels that Pendulum decks can. Let me give you an example. Your opponent has been outplayed by you the entire game, and you have a Tiger King and Bear on the board, ready to deal lethal next turn. Your opponent is on his last leg and draws his one last card, top decking none other than Monkey Board. He proceeds to complete his scales and spam the field, turning the world upside down on you and turning the entire game around. You live another turn, but have nothing to answer such an impressive field. Here, maybe Exiton could have helped you fight back against the massive power plays that Pendulum have, and given you a slight fighting chance. It's a fact that most decks a year or two old cannot and will not be viable at all come the blooming of the Pendulum decks, and Exiton is one way to even out these odds. This is the core reasoning for Exiton returning and staying in the game. An additional reason is Exiton being used as a counter to the Set 5 formats or things like that. This reason is no longer as valid because of the existence of Twin Twisters, so I'll just leave it there. On the contrary, there are many reasons against his existence in the game. He's basically a Spell Speed 2 Judgment Dragon. Not quite so, but that's what people like to say about him. And I agree, making his effect a quick effect was honestly a tad much. Had it been pure ignition, I think he would have escaped the ban hammer. This made him capable as a proactive and reactive card, which borders on being way too good. Furthermore, Exiton Knight is a rank 4 which ungraciously aids the already abhorrently powerful rank 4 engine. This only makes the problem of rank 4s dominating the game worse, and getting rid of Exiton helps to curb this problem and kind of even out the XYZ ranks. I can agree with this fact. It might not be because of Exiton himself that was broken, but the fact that he offered himself as too useful of a tool to a toolbox that was already greedily full of cards covering any situation imaginable just made him too much of a good card in a versatile engine. Now for probably the most devastating blow against Exiton Knight is the fact that he helps you if you are losing. Why should a card reward you for playing poorly? Why do you get to have a blue shell when I outplayed you the whole game? This isn't Mario Kart. And you'd be right. I try and try again to think of a reason or an argument to refute this, but I just really can't. I guess cards probably shouldn't really reward you for losing. And lastly, a smaller but still pertinent reason is the fact that Exiton punishes some decks incredibly unfairly for a false or what I call pseudo advantage. What do I exactly mean by this? Well, let's look at Firefist again. Firefist are a prime example of this as they have many cards that linger on the field giving the appearance of card advantage over your opponent, when in reality, they're just empty husks that sit on the field. Exiton is made to capitalize on this and punish this in a way that I must say is a bit unfair. This is coming from a Fire Fist player myself, so I may be a bit biased, but this is true nonetheless. Many other decks that rely on cards that stay in the field are unfairly punished by Exiton Knight. Overall, 
I find that Exiton Knight is an incredibly interesting card to discuss, and I have a weak opinion on it. I feel that the argument against it is more compelling to be honest, but if I were in charge of the ban list, I would actually have it at 3 surprisingly. Like I said, I completely understand the reasoning whether you're on the side of banning Exiton Knight or you're on the side of unlimiting it. Either way, I do understand. But whether the card is at 3 or 0, I can deal with it. Exiton is still one of these cards though that people get insanely heated over. So what do you guys think about Exiton Knight? Tell me in the comment section below, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.